hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here you are absolutely welcome on this channel you are going to find pattern drafting tutorials and also sewing tutorials in this tutorial as you can guess i'm going to be sharing how i made this raw food air band or ankara scrunchie bear in mind that you could use ankara you can use any type of fabric like silk for this project too guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel click on the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so you can become notified whenever i upload a new video and just in case you've been wondering the face behind this channel this is me this is the face behind this channel my name is ayomide once again now let us get started so to just put us through a quick guide we are going to be needing the main fabric the inner fabric and the elastic casing for this project the very first thing i would advise you to do is to measure your round edge circumference and divide it into three equal parts for example if you have 21 divide by three that will give you seven what that means is that your inner fabric would be two third of your round edge circumference measurements and that will be 14 inches the elastic casing is going to take one part which is seven inches but since we are going to be putting an elastic we need to double the length so instead of using seven we are going to be going for 14 or 15 inches and the main fabric could be as long or as wide as you want but bear in mind that the longer it is and the wider it is the more big your ruffle is so it entirely depends on how big and how wide you want it to be this is just a quick guide right here i have my main fabric cut out already and this fabric is 50 inches long and 11 inches wide you could make yours 45 inches long 8 inches wide but i would advise you not to make it too long or too wide so it doesn't appear so big on your head so you could work with this measurement as it worked perfectly well for me i also have the inner fabric here my inner fabric is 14 inches long and 2.5 inches wide okay so this fabric is the inner fabric and i also have this last piece of fabric here it is the elastic casing 15 inches long and 3 inches wide this is going to be the elastic casing what i'll do next is i'm going to be folding over the elastic casing making sure right sides are placed against each other and i'm going to be sewing it all the way down in order to create a casing i would also fold over my main fabric placing right sides against each other i'm just smoothing the fabric so that i can have an even fold up until the very end and before going over to sew this i'm going to be trimming off the edge what i'll do is i'm going to be marking about 0.5 inch from the edge over there and i would also mark about four inches downward this is just to create a curve around the end of this piece of fabric and then i'm going to be using my hand to connect the points together so regardless of the length you're working with it is advisable for you to do this i would also repeat the same thing for the other end of this fabric piece too Once I'm through with that, what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to be sewing this all the way down. So now let us head to my sewing machine. So guys, I'm true and the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning my elastic casing inside out and I'm using my screwdriver, my sewing machine screwdriver as a guide just to help me out. I would also turn in my main fabric. I will turn it inside out too. I use my hand for this as I found it easier to do even though I started with the screwdriver but I later 
went for my hand and you can see that's what I'm doing so I'm just using my hand to turn this over and then this is what I have at the end of the day I have my elastic casing the main fabric now the next thing is to grab my elastic I'm using an half inch elastic and I'm going to be measuring about 6.5 inches or 7 inches thereabouts so I'm using 7 inches elastic for this and what I'll do is I'm going to be passing the elastic through the elastic casing and to make this easier I'm going to be using a safety pin so I'm going to be pinning one end of the elastic to the safety pin and I'm going to be passing it through the elastic casing I'm sorry it got out of sight but this is quite easy to do just pin your safety pin to your elastic and run it through the entire casing making sure that you don't lose one end of the elastic you can see that i'm pinning it down across one end so as not to so that the elastic doesn't run through my casing and then i will lose it at the end of the day so i'm securing my elastic on both ends of the casing now you are going to be grabbing that inner fabric okay and then you're going to be pinning it and i'm going to be passing it through the main fabric so the inner fabric would also serve as the kind of elastic for the main fabric but we are not going to be using an elastic for the inner fabric we're also going to be using a fabric so we're going to be running through the entire fabric across the inner fabric it's quite a lot of work but once you're calm you'll be able to get this done easily so that is what i'm doing I'm done running the fabric through and what I will do next is to secure both the inner fabric and the main fabric together. This makes my work easier. I would also advise you to do so. And I'm also going over to arrange the ruffles to my desired taste. And it is better to do this now because once you secure it down, it might not be easy for you to do. So just arrange the ruffles to your desired taste. Arrange it to how you want it to be and that is what I am doing. Once I'm through with that, I'll go over and then stitch this down on this end and also on the other end. I would also do likewise for my elastic casing too. So guys, I'm done stitching it down on both ends and also repeated the same thing for my elastic too. And the next thing will be to attach the elastic to the body of the headband. What I'll do is I'm going to be placing my elastic in between the body of the head, headband on one end this way so i'm going to be placing it this way fold the headband over it just to cover it and i'm going to be stitching it down so you want to make sure that you're placing the elastic in the middle you want it to be centrally placed i would also repeat the same thing for the other end of this scrunch it too so once i'm through with that i'll just go over and sew it down i'm done sewing it down the next thing will be to turn it over so when you turn it over your stitch would be completely covered that is one thing i love about this method so your stitch is going to be entirely covered no one would even know that you even stitched the elastic to the scrunch itself and tada this is the final result remember i said you can use any fabric you can use silk you can use satin you can use ankara just be crazy you can even use the max so guys this is the outcome of the scrunchie you can see how beautiful it is if you found this tutorial helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please click the subscribe button below and also turn on your notifications and on to my next video guys make sure you have a wonderful day see ya